Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ellen and I'm back with another Thursday Science Challenge with Headwater Science Institute. Today we're going to get creative and a little crafty and we're going to make some insect sweep nets to investigate insects around your house. People who study insects are called entomologists. Insects have six legs and are some of the most common species in the world. Did you know there are over 12,000 species of ants in the world alone? That's twice the number of species of mammals in the world. You can use a sweep net to get information on species and their distribution around your house. So, here we go. Here's some things we can use to make a sweep net. Look around for a light-colored pillowcase or a light-colored old t-shirt that you don't need anymore. We'll need one hanger and some needle and thread and some hot glue, if you've got it, and a stick and we're ready to jump in. Let's start with the t-shirt. I'm gonna draw a shape like this, a bell shape, on my t-shirt. So take a marker and make a big bell shape. On your t-shirt like that. It can be a solid line. I'm going to show you how to sew it now. If your family has a sewing machine at home, that will be the easiest thing to do. But if you don't, I'm going to show you a simple way that you can sew it. I got a needle and some thread, and I put the thread through the needle, and now I'm going to show you how to make a knot at the end. You take the thread and you wrap it around your finger a couple times, and then you rub your finger back and forth so it gets all ta tangled up and then you just pull it. And now you have a knot at the end of your thread. Then I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to take my needle and come straight up through my t-shirt. I haven't cut it yet. And I'm going to come up like this. And now I'm going to go down. And it's that simple. I'm going to show you how to finish it off when I get to the end. It's the same as when we started. We just want to tie a knot in the thread so that it doesn't get pulled through. So I'm going to come up and then I'm going to take a big circle like this and go through it and push it down to the end and do that a couple times and that'll tie a nice knot for you. Then I'm going to cut it and now I'm ready to cut my shirt. It's sewn right around the outside here. I didn't sew right here. That's going to be the opening of the net. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut to the outside of the stitching. I've stitched all the way around the bell, and then I turned up the bottom and made a sleeve. And then I did the same stitch all the way around there, so I have a little tunnel at the bottom. Now I'm going to take my hanger, and I'm going to unwrap it, and kind of straighten it out, make it a little bit roundy, because I'm going to thread this through that tunnel. So I left an opening here, I didn't close it up, and I'm going to thread the hanger all the way through until I get back to that starting spot. And you can see now I'm getting the rim of my bug net.
Now, if sewing isn't your thing, there is a much easier way to do this. I've got a light colored pillowcase. It's not perfectly white, but it'll work. And the best thing about a pillowcase is three of your sides are already sewn for you and you just have an opening here. And this is when hot glue comes in handy. All you need to do is do a strip of hot glue across the top, fold it up, and you have your sleeve for your hanger. Now I wound the wire together to make a complete hoop and then I backed it up with some duct tape and I have a little bit sticking out. That'll work for a net, but if you have something, I have a broken ski pole in my garage, so I found this. And if you get a straight stick or something like that, you can tape it to the end and have a nice handled sweep net. So you can get way out into the bush. Okay, now that we have a bug net, let's find some bugs. My house faces south and it's really hot on this side of the house. I think there's going to be more bugs on the north side. So I need to count my bugs here and count my bugs there and compare it. To capture bugs, you want to do a figure eight sweeping motion through any kind of green bushes or ground cover that you can find. And make sure you do it for at least a minute or longer. Whatever you do, do the same for each place. When you feel like you've gotten some bugs, pull up your net and look, oh, bugs, yay. Okay, now we're on the north side of the house. I'm gonna see if I can find some bugs in this bush. Remember, insects have six legs. If you find something with eight legs, you're looking at a spider. Invertebrates have many legs or no legs at all. So keep looking for something that has six legs. Insects are a really important part of our ecosystem. They're decomposers and they're pollinators. So when you find some, Make sure you put them back where you found them. You might have a book like this at home that has some great colored pictures of some insects you might find to help you identify them. I'm finishing up an insect survey on the north side of my house. And let's see what I've got. Oh, it looks like I've got four insects definitely have two spiders and then there's something with a lot of legs on it. So now I've found I have four insects on the north side of my house. The strange part is that I had, I found eight insects on the south side, which was the opposite of what I predicted. I think I need to go take some more surveys and find out what's really going on. Now that you have a sweep net, go see what you can find at your house and please share it with us. Catch you later.